it's on the top of the screen. There we go. Now we're recording. Okay. Thank you, everybody. All we right. are talking with Lenny in Brazil, and she's going to help me go through making brigadeiros, which are what? Chocolate truffles? Chocolate balls? Lenny, what would you call them? Well, today we are going to, to make a classic brigadeiro. And the ingredients are, let me show you. Uh, Did you say four. classic or healthy? <laughs> Fat. <laughs> and so uh, 259 calories, the nutritional information. Okay. So you have uh, to use it here, one pan like this. Let me show you guys, let's do this. One right. pan. Let me switch my direction. What are the ingredients list first? Okay, the ingredients are um, one table tablespoon of butter. Butter, 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 butter. Butter with, uh, without salt, okay? Butter without, without Sam salt. Some salt. Yes. Butter, one, one uh, tablespoon you can use to, to measure. And uh, we are going to use um, a can of uh, condensed milk, right? Condensed milk. Condensed milk, three, uh, 395 grams. So 14 right. ounces. Condensed milk. And uh, you are going to use um, a cup of uh, chocolate uh, is sprinkle, all right? Can you, sh can so you see? I couldn't find sprinkles. I have can the, choice, see of, I have the see? choice of I found green yeah. sugar sprinkles. Or I had something special already at my house. These right here are chocolate nibs. This is little cocoa that has been toasted and ground up. So no I have sugar, like probably. Really, All right. yeah, no sugar. So really good quality. And then green sugar crystals, really low quality. Wow. <laughs> so is the sprinkles the, sugar here? Is, is that the be... only chocolate? Is the sprinkles? No. The, the chocolate is just, just on for the chocolate. outside. Just on chocolate, it's sprinkled. So you're gonna use a, a, a pot like that, a glass. And so you have just the chocolate sprinkles or do you have uh, cocoa powder? Yes, I have cocoa powder. But so I have two choices of cocoa powder. Cocoa I have one powder that has cinnamon and chili in it. And then I have the plain baking cocoa. My cocoa, uh, cocoa powder, uh, powder, you're gonna use one uh, quarter cup uh, without sugar, all right? 100% co uh, cocoa. So really it's butter, cocoa powder, yeah. And um, some form of chocolate. Yes. Well, the, the chocolate sprinkles are for the outside. So oh, I don't know. Butter. That's what I was asking. Yeah, so it's butter, condensed milk, and cocoa powder. That's yeah. it. That's what you said, three ingredients. Okay. So, so three just ingredients, four. and then four the outside, you put just some four. kind of something, right? Yeah, the sprinkles are four. Four, because you, you yeah. have a tablespoon uh, butter. Uh, condensed milk uh, or powder and a cup of chocolate sprinkle. Okay. I get it now, yeah. Yeah? Yep. Okay, let's start now. It's hard to, 
because today I am alone here. I don't have assistant. My daughter stay home. Not here, the same place. I you, you try to record it here for you guys. So perfect view. Lenny, thank you for coming from Brazil and telling us the secrets of Brazilian chocolate. I thought this was a big secret. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> No problem. How, how, how many so, times um, every month do you make this? Um, how many times? Uh, my daughters, they they used to, to do more time. For example, once a month, they used to, to make. But for me, uh, once a year. <laughs> <laughs> Why be? Is it too sweet? Because it's too major sweetness. Yeah. They need energy. They need energy. And then it's better for them. They need the energy. And then they have to, once a week, uh, a week they make a uh, brigadeiro, classic brigadeiro, Brazilian brigadeiro. Okay, yeah, let's When, we, when we're young, place. we can eat all that stuff. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so in this pan, I'm going uh, in a pot, I'm going to put the condensed milk, right? So we don't have the pot hot, it's just cold pot. No, it, it's not necessary. If you, if you want, you can put directly on the fire, okay? Uh, over low heat, okay? It's very important. So, but you can uh, mix it before. You could, you could use a double boiler if you wanted to, I suppose. That way you don't worry about uh, getting too hot. Mm. Well, she's making this the simple one and- Yeah, she's not melting chocolate, so you don't really have to worry about a double boiler. All right. Yes. Mm -hmm. If you're melting the chocolate, then you need a double boiler. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Very good. So we're gonna put first the butter, uh, a tablespoon butter without sugar. You can last eat... time I made this, I put too much butter. Yes, you can. You. I was like, there, there's no such thing as too much butter. Yeah, but it, there was too much butter. We are going to put uh, inside the Mix it all. Then, so is the is the heat on or no? Not yet. You can mix it before, or if you if you want, you can heat uh, the butter before and put the condensed milk after. So I the have a question bread. for everybody. Does anybody honestly ever just eat? some of this right from the can with a spoon? Condensed milk? Yep. Condensed milk. It's just milk with it's sugar, like isn't it? Spoon. And a lot of water is taken out of the milk. That's yeah, it just boils. No, I mean, water. I no. That's why I say the condensed milk is, they, they condensed take water out of the milk to make condensed milk. Just condensed milk. First you put butter, a condensed milk. Yeah. And then mix, mix, okay, outside the heat, all right? So no heat yet, we're just mixing. No it. heat, just the styrene. Well, I'm glad I took the butter out of the fridge because it'd be hard to mix. So you want some warm temperature, um, room temperature butter then. Because it's right. All right, my butter is almost. Mix uh, uh, for two or three seconds. Just to mix the butter. All right. All right. Cream that and butter in there. You can. The third ingredient is gonna be the. Um, a Cocoa cup. Cup. Yes. You Cocoa said quarter cup. cup, right? Yes. 
Okay, let me see how you put it in there. Make it. Oh, you just dumped the whole thing. Yes. You don't get, it doesn't get clumpy that way. Mm -hmm. Just mix it all. I thought you might want to sift it or put it in really Oh, you slowly. can use one the spatula like that or. We're doing all this so not on the heat at all. Tablespoon. I have a lot of here. I'm going to use the, the wood one. Yeah, it makes, makes you start to wonder if it's going to need heat. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Eat I mean, all. I think I could probably just eat this just like it is now. Yeah, and if you put it in the fridge, <laughs> it would get it solid. Like a chocolate glaze. Yum. Oh. Making me hungry. Mix it all. How are you mixing yours so quick? Mine isn't mixing in very good. Oh, she's got a deep, she's got a deep sided pot and you've got yeah. a skillet. Yeah, like. so that's yeah. probably it. I'm afraid to spin it quick. real quick because I started <laughs> spilling, I started spilling the powder around. So I'm afraid to stir it really fast. You need to transfer it into that bigger pan. Yeah. But th this pan has a curved edge, so it's easier to scrape like this. Versus yeah. this one's a, more of a square edge. If you want it's more like a like square edge is like a saute pan. Deep one. This is one of those little saute pans where you like flip the stuff so it's got a nice curved edge. There we go. Now I can start spinning it a lot quicker. Ah, Sophia. Almost got all the chocolate folded in. Oh, this is so beautiful. You haven't even yeah. started cooking at all. It's just like, look at that. Yeah. It's like all mixed in. It's delicious. And your mouth uh, full of water. Mm, yummy. Yummy, yummy. <laughs> I guess, can you put different spices in this or you never do? Like I could put some cinnamon or some. Yes, it's good idea. Cinnamon, I love it. Right. Maybe cardamom. Yes, you can yeah. put. Uh, or like Mexican food. style, where you put a little chili and cinnamon, like Mexican hot chocolate. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Like yes, I'm gonna make this the classic one, but you can change the or add another ingredients that you want. You can add different flavors and. Yes. If you want to write, uh, you you don't put uh, choc uh, cocoa powder. Got so a good you... crowd. Got a good crowd tonight. Well, it's chocolate. I did get yeah, chocolate chips. I think I that's it. Chocolate, but... You wow. have to have des every other week. You have to have dessert. <laughs> the classical one is without uh, other ingredients. Well, is that, you're really mixing it up. Does that make it get thicker? Yes. By, by mixing. Yes. So do you know uh, why uh, the name is Brigadeiro? No. Brigadeiro, because the, uh, I researched here and I found the history about uh, the candidate a Brazilian candidate for the presidency in, in a decade 40. And then this uh, candidate uh, called, uh, called Brigadeiro. And they, they uh, during this, uh, uh, what exactly word? During this, uh, I, I, I don't know the exact word. They said they they sell the sweet uh, during the his can, uh, candidate during this. I forgot the word. Oh my god! Oh, they're like giving this you away as like giving it that. away so people will vote for them. They sell the, the, 
The sweet called his name Brigadeiro. He was the candidate of a president of Brazil in a decade of 40. Lenny, why are we stirring it up so much? It makes it thick, she said. It's what makes it thicken. I'm tired uh, of spinning. I want to eat Until it. you can see the bottle of the pot. All right. You can heat now. Okay. You mix it all. And then we are going to put uh, in a pot over low heat. Okay. Okay. As low uh, as possible. Yes. I'm going to... So now we're, we're going to thicken it, right? That's the point of the heat. Sorry. What did you say? What did you say? The, are we on the heat? Are we trying to make it thicker? Because it's pretty, mine is, see, look how thin mine is. I think, I, do I need to add more powder? No, no, it's okay. It's just, uh, just one, um, one quarter cup cocoa powder. You okay. Okay. Wonder so if I it's, need... uh, it could be air that's incorporated that kind of makes it sort of thicken up. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, when, I, when I stir it, it does get like little bubbles in it. Well, maybe I ought to try a look. Do you have a little whip? Do you have a little whip? Well, now that it's warm up, it doesn't do it. But before, when yeah. I was stirring it, it would create little bubbles. Now it that doesn't create bubbles. That was the idea of the stirring. Anymore. Yeah, it was the incorporated Now it's air. really creamy. Yes, you need to incorporate the cocoa, uh, cocoa powder in a condensed milk. So now you're going to heat in law, in a law. Now, low heat. Let me. My yeah, I've got it on the lowest. See, it just barely heat. Oh, and now it's Lord. like really creamy. Oh. oh. High. No high, just low. Over low heat and the mix, all right? So it's terrible. I can't believe that there were some people late for chocolate. That's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> At least they showed up. <laughs> They're showing up for the eating part. <laughs> oh. I think we got to, what four or is, five countries on tonight. Huh? Steering is steering continuously until you can see the bottle mm. of the pot. Okay. Okay. She, when, dra she when dragging a spatula, throw. Your chocolates are different colored. Can you see yeah, that? I don't know if it's the camera or it actually the is. The camera is color. okay for you guys. Yeah, mine is a lot darker. Yeah. The camera is okay for you now. You can see. Yeah. Lenny, yeah, can you can show see. us your can you of. You can see that cocoa? in my pot. Can you show us your can of where, your cocoa powder, what it looks like? Yeah, because that's the only thing that could make a difference because it's the only other thing in there. No, well, even uh, there, you can see it's a lighter color. You can see about, it right there. Okay. Yeah. I mean, so it's, is yours it's darker? Different. Show us the color of yours or open it up. See, what, is it it's darker different. inside? I mean, mine is just. Yeah, it's, dark, yeah, it's yeah. not that much different. Doesn't look oh. that much different. It's hard to tell with the light. So yeah, mine it says, um, it is, says it's a blend of natural cocoa and Dutch cocoa. Mm. Natural. Um, yes, natural. Okay. That seems to be about the same color. 
Maybe it's maybe it's the milk. Mine mine milk is all yes. kind of yellow. My condensed maybe, milk. Maybe. Oh, that's you're right. It's probably the condensed milk that's different. Yeah. yeah I mean, if you look at the condensed milk, it's kind of kind of more yellow instead of white. I have Sorry. problems here. A little, little, maybe a little burnt when they. Oh, well, now we'll you're gonna. How long do we have to stir it? This is, this is like work now. How long you need to, to stir it, stirring. <laughs> yep, how long do we have to mix it? So when, when dra uh, dragging a spatula through, so when you can see the bottle of the spot. Wish I could reach through with my finger. <laughs> yeah, just like. <laughs> the Good idea. Is, <laughs> the best you part is lick, licking the you're pan. Gonna burn. The best part. You're going to be very careful. Feet. The worst burn I ever got in my life was when <laughs> I got some chocolate on my finger when it was hot and then didn't get it off my finger fast enough. I'm gonna change the... <laughs> so are we trying to thicken this now or not? Oh, and you, you see the, the bottle dragging, dragging, uh, until you can see the bottle of the pot. Okay. Yeah, I can do that easy. But, but, the, the, uh, but it's really thin, I mean. Over low heat, that's why it's gonna be uh, a little bit longer time. You have to be uh, patient. I'm just wondering what the purpose of all this stirring. <laughs> <laughs> what are we trying to accomplish? What's it going to take to turn it into something you can make chocolate balls out of? Delayed gratification. <laughs> I'm just trying to get all that powder and just get it all mixed together. So it's almost... It's a lot of stirring going on. I'm going to confess for you guys, it's my first time uh, making brigadeiro, the uh, fat one, right? Because I already made the other one, the healthy, with the cho just chocolate without sugar and without condensed milk. So uh, the healthy one, what did you put in it then? I just put... Um, uh, chocolate is melt and uh, I forgot I, I'm not sure about the ingredients but I can I can't uh, send to you I forgot at home I'm not you could sure use a, heart, you could use a, a stevia for sweet oh, pay attention it's going, pay attention oh, oh, oh look you can see the bottle no at all you so this oh, oh. so it, it is like so after on, that it's like it's burning just a little bit on the bottom no, ju just uh in a low heat low heat please yeah i, I have it on the lowest heat but i'm trying this to this is where the double the boiler time. would come in but we're not melting anything, so. No, but it would just keep the heat down from scorching the bottom of the pan if you had it in a double boiler. And it might never get, it never get over like two hundred degrees uh, Fahrenheit. Oh man, this smells so good. Or it might yeah. have if yeah. you have a utensil that would be more flat on the bottom, like if you're just using a spoon. Yeah, a spatula. She's using like a plastic spatula, which will scrape the bottom better than a spoon. 
Yeah. Because it you is when I'm doing it like this, when I go back and forth, I can see where it's frying it underneath. But you need you need a bigger utensil to cover more. Yeah, that's right. You need a big plastic spatula rather than that spoon. Okay, where are my I have some, but don't let me ignore can, this pan too long. Because she's stirring her stirring every time she stirs it, you can see the bottom of the pan is exposed. Yes. <laughs> That's how much Thank stirring you, is going on. Thank you, Chef Fred. And by that, she can yeah. see that it's not scorching. Yeah, I bought some of those little teeny plastic. Oh my goodness. Oh, doing? almost to dawn. Almost to dawn. Need one of those, you need one of those big silicone ones. That's what I got. Dawn. Oh, you can see the bottle. He's addicted to that spoon. Off the spoon. <laughs> Pay attention. So yeah, she's oh. concentrating it. Oh, so. She's going a lot faster than you too, or put a little energy into it. Oh, you just thanks, need a bigger. Baby. Yeah. You're not going to make it with that. That's spoon. why I had everybody come around here so I could have a peanut gallery, huh? <laughs> <laughs> no Carter. chocolate for you. <laughs> okay, oh, where it's you? exercise with my arms. <gasps> Woo, I'm tired. Yeah, it's going to work out. Woo. Oh, here they are. It's like to go to the gym. <laughs> all right. I just, I got all these plastic ones. <laughs> Probably this this angled one, probably, right? Yeah. There you go. I'm so yeah. Just tired. push it across the bottom. And quickly. So tired. And make sure you lick that spoon. Well, I have to let it cool first, but yeah. Oh, there we go. There you go. Now you're look at, when I do that, action. that's interesting. When I'm doing that, look at it's getting chunks now. It's yeah. completely different. That's why you you gotta go faster. You gotta stir faster. Hers is thickening up. You're, too. It's you're, like falling be, you're falling behind. <laughs> See, thank you guys for, for helping me out figuring out the right utensils. So, so it's like when I, I do it with this bigger one, I can have the right tools to do the job. You can you you need to check the fire. Oh, it's maybe turn your fire off. It's as low as it goes. Yes, please. So, Yes, low. low, low, faster, because yeah. Yeah, if you don't move it oh, fast, yeah. it's gonna scorch. Oh yeah, this is a lot easier than the spoon. Guys, you saw us already. So <laughs> look, the bottle oh, is compared oh. to mine. Thank you guys. I would have been like going, "What's going on?" You gotta be <laughs> moving it fast enough that you can see the bottom of the pan. Yeah, through, through through it's almost it's like on, it's I'm bubbling on, slightly. Ready. So, I think you've got too much heat. Look at this. I can't turn mine any further down. It's well, like, turn it like, off, maybe. Maybe it's too hot. Turn it off for a while. Yeah, See, I mean, turn it off now. It's already. I turn it off and keep stirring. No. You can see the 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 bottle of. So we're trying board. to concentrate it. So yeah, yeah. look this. this is the, you can tell hers, yeah, is, hers is really getting thick. And if you used a bigger pot, or you might have been able to be a little more vigorous. Yeah, before. now you're worried about slopping it over the side. Uh huh. That's true. So do, do you I have need a, just a regular like, saucepan? Why don't you just transfer this pan it? About the same size as her pan, just with higher sides, though, right? Yeah. yeah but do you have one? Maybe oh. you would just want to put it into a, a tall pan well, so I you can really it over whip to this it. one. Well, that's not much better. A little bit better. Ooh, it's it's done, guys. It's already done. Okay, show me what yours look like. Yours is thick, huh? Yeah. Just a I think again, I might have put too much butter. Yes, that's why the uh, the ingredients is a spoon, a, a tablespoon butter. It's enough. So now look at that. Make a look, or 
we are going to put now on a plate, okay? Graced, uh, a graced plate, okay? I separated a here a, a paper, a paper here. Paper part. I'm gonna pass. I'm gonna pass a little bit butter. You can you can see guys a butter. Oh, you're gonna butter the spread plate. Spread it butter on a plate like that. Ooh. Okay. All right. So butter a plate. Raise a plate with butter without salt. Okay. It won't spread stick. It and with a paper, all right? So now you are going to spread it, uh, the brigadeiro on a plate. You can see, guys? Yeah, it's good. <laughs> okay, you can put it all and spread it. Oh, my gosh. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. Oh. Some mass stands. This is where you need a good my scraper to get it all out. My assistant is not here. Oh my gosh. What? Oh, come on. I'm chocolate so everywhere. <laughs> Don't get chocolate on your keyboard. Ah! <laughs> Goodness. <laughs> okay. Oh, I have to. I have the spoon that I was using before, and Aaron told me to save this to lick it. So right. this is for Aaron. All right. It tastes order. so horrible. No, right it's now. for Hojo. I want to enjoy it vicariously. Mm. You cannot stop to to mix. Yeah. Oh, that's a, on a plate. Keep on mixing, or don't give up. <laughs> I am. Yes. Thank don't you, Fred, because I am starting to feel like this has been like an hour of mixing chocolate. You need to go around I mean, in a circle of, at the, in the middle rather than back and forth. Go around in a circle. That's I, it. I feel now yeah. you're getting it. Now you're I'm getting it. Guys, unfortunately. Faster, please. faster. Take two. <laughs> I feel Thank like this you is hell. For one hour. Chocolate. Okay. Look at that. Wow. Chill Are you saying you didn't need to chew for one hour? Yes. Okay. okay. Mm. I'm going to put it in the fridge. The fridge, mm -hmm. so it really thickens up so you can handle for it. For one hour. Okay. I'll be in so my other show by then. Why I couldn't have <laughs> just like mixed it, warmed it up just a little bit, and poured it on the plate without all this mixing? You can, you can, you can put your finger, Fred, now. No, it's Aaron. Yeah. The best part of this is licking the pan. <laughs> You're going right. to clean what do you guys think? Is it thick enough now? Look it, when yeah, I go like I that. Think, well, it's going to thicken up in the fridge. It's almost ready now. Oh, my I feel God. like when I push it back now, before oh. it, was so thick, it didn't come back, but now look. I think you're getting. I think. Keep me Sophia keep says you're getting close. Keep it's almost there, I think. Yes. Out there. Yeah. Yes, it's mm -hmm. a finish, but the first part, of course, you need to chill for one hour, and then you're gonna shake and roll the chili the mixture into a bowl. Mm -hmm. For example. You're gonna put butter on your hand so it doesn't stick to your hand. Yes, yes, exactly. <laughs> you are a very nice chef. Oh my God. Now the plate, the plate. Yes, you're gonna you use butter, uh, the plate. butter and put butter in your hands. Okay. And after that, after one hour, you you take the the brigadeiro and roll in a shape into a bowl. But it, uh, 
it's heat now. It's not, it's not. Uh, when it's cold, yeah. Yeah, it's yeah. gonna be colder. Yeah, yeah, because here you need to, to wait one hour, all right? You know, unfortunately. And but then it, you put something on the outside of it. That's the sprinkles. So, yes. And then I think this is the, hour, the hardest technique is learning how to do that roll immerse, that wall in your immerse, hand. <laughs> immerse him. Oh, man. Nice uh, sprinkle, that's, that's, chocolate sprinkle. All right. That rolling the ball is what we call local knowledge. <laughs> this is the brigadero. Yes. There you go. Mm. Yeah. Well, yeah, the brigadero is I don't ready. have chocolate. Mine's going to have green sprinkles on it. <laughs> now, can you that eat it? Fun. I mean, can you make it without the chocolate sprinkles on the outside? No. Or it's too, then it's still sticky. How about it's sesame, sticky. white sesame seeds? Uh, or you, you cover them in cocoa powder. They're good. Oh, cocoa Instead powder. Sprinkles really cocoa powder. Uh -huh. I'd probably put them in those little. Uh, I'd probably put them in those little mini cupcake <laughs> papers. <laughs> there it is. Look, see, there's one right there. To serve he's it. Way yeah. ahead of, he's way ahead of me. <laughs> so after an hour, is it still pliable that you can roll it? It's not the chocolate doesn't get too hard. Yeah. It won't freeze. Yeah, it won't freeze in the refrigerator. Won't It'll stay. Them, but chill, chill for one hour. No freezing. No, no. Yeah, Even in it... the refrigerator for an hour, it still doesn't get too hard to manipulate. No. No hard. No, no, no. Is yeah. enough. That's why I That's put my banana it. stuff in the freezer because you can't put them in the fridge. It won't. Chocolate won't get hard enough in the refrigerator. While these, you can clean your spot with a tablespoon. And then if you, you have a grandchild, you can let the grandchild eat that. The, clean yes. the <laughs> <laughs> with a, a brigadero, a tablespoon brigadero, you can. Uh, you can eat in a nice spoon. Tablespoon. Then you have tablespoon brigadeiro. It's another way to it. So you, you just eat it without waiting for it to be cool. Yeah. But you can put. Uh, I think that's my style. I don't think the quicker the better. You gotta taste it or to make sure it's good. No. Be careful when you no. taste it. No. If it's too hot. Mm, not hot. Delicious. All right. Oh my gosh. So guys, in the end of the this is the, the example. All right. Here we go. Mm. What are some things you put on the outside of them? Oh, that's yes. interesting. Like, I thought if I poured this on the plate when it was hot with the butter, it would just melt the butter. But look at it. The whole thing like wiggles. It like did not stick. Like, no. Gotta get it in the fridge. Put, put it in the fridge yes. now. Yes, yeah, so you have to put it on the fridge and wait maybe. One hour. Until uh, it it um, until it cool down. I think I cleaned the pot too much. There's nothing for me to yeah. look. <laughs> the best part is clean the pot. <laughs> clean the pot and it's a brigadeiro. So this is Very what you good. call. It. Great job. Oh, delicious. So easy and. Good, delicious. The uh, the children like every party. They they ask. What, what's nice about this is you can always have the you can always have the powder, the cocoa powder, and the can of milk, and you always have butter, so you always have the ingredients. Yes. Yeah, it's pretty simple, really.
Just take some. Yeah, you're gonna have paper. to go shopping to make this dish. I forgot to right butter stuff. my hands before I try. I have a little bit here. To make a little ball. <laughs> but you need to pass a butter in your hands. There we go. It's there a marble go. size. <laughs> <laughs> dip it in chocolate. <laughs> What oh, chocolate is it? That's a sprinkles. Not a sprinkle. It is. No, yeah. this right here is what you call chocolate. Oh no, those are cocoa nibs. That's yeah, pure chocolate. Ah, uh, it, it's a big one. Right. I can't. It's the size of a marble. <laughs> yeah, I have some of those co uh, cocoa nibs also. I love I these nibs. They're they're. I do too. They're fairly expensive, but they're like pure chocolate. Exactly. All right. Very good. Yeah. That was quick. Well, I guess not completely done, but now you just have to roll them into balls and coat the outside with something. Of so. course. The problem is, is the coating, rolling the balls and coating with something. I will be like one for me, one for somebody else. <laughs> you can put in a paper uh, for brigadeiro. Stop. This is special brigadeiro paper. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Cupcakes, Red. Look at that. Oh, Very classy. Everybody, they they that's put. What, that's why I said mini cupcakes. I think next time I make it, I'm going to try it with this um, spicy cocoa mix, which has got cinnamon and chili in it. I, I, next time, you just oh. need a deeper pan and more mixing. I show I show uh, you before what exactly a spot or pot that you need. Exactly, to you're right. I, I, and, I, I and or you. ignored you. He just got his own skillet. <laughs> I mean, oh, God, the, whole, can... the cooking show is to show mistakes, right? So I did that on purpose. Or yeah. cooks every single thing in those two pans on his stove. I've never seen another pan besides those. No, two. I've got a four quart sauce. Um, I've got a four quart pan too. That one's too big. <laughs> and then I've got. That one's the one you needed. That's the one I you need. I think it's too narrow, but maybe. No, that's, that's, a, that's, a, that's just that's, the size that she used. Oh. Yes. Well, I had it sitting right out here ready to use, and I didn't use it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, guys, I'm, I'm lazy to, the chocolate. to roll the balls. I'm that was lazy. fun. That was a lot and of fun. I used, it, I used it this uh, spoon. This is special spoon to make a uh, uh, roll balls, you know. A brigadero spoon. A brigadero spoon. If you yes, you if you can use the uh, ice cream ice cream one, you got a a big brigadero. Yeah, it's too big. <laughs> oh, we could use uh, what is it? But a melon can ball. Small one. Yeah, a melon baller. You could use that if you wanted to. Or if you are. Uh, uh, if you like too much, you can make a big one. Okay. Nope. But that was lots of fun. The more they are, the more you can eat of them, right? Oh, I didn't uh, put the timing. You need to put the timing. Mm. Oh, you have to time. Oh, time how long it's in the fridge, huh? One hour. One hour. One hour. Okay, well, it's been like 10 minutes already, right? Yes, yes, yes. Wildly cocoa banana bread. Wildly cocoa banana bread. That sounds good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that sounds good. With using wild vanilla powder and wild cocoa tropic superfood elixir. So probably cost now, $20 to make that. <laughs> Now it's well for me. It's oh look it's at only been thirty. Lonnie's, Lonnie's showing us her her chocolate just right. 
to roll so the ball. So you said it would take an hour. Mine only took 30 minutes. She's getting ready to butter her hands. How do you feel if you put in the freezing? It's yes, uh, I mean, I think mine is still. No, no, it's. Mine is still needs a little more time. Yes, but it's. It's okay for me here. It's time to to roll the ball, all right? Yeah. So show you guys. You need to pass butter, a little butter, in your hands. No ice cream scoop size. No. Okay. It's too big. And you can use your hands, or you can use the spoon. They yeah, that's the right. I like that size. Yeah. And then you can so, pass butter inside the spoon or spread out. So what do we wait? Out. According to my timer, we waited 30 minutes. But did uh, you put yours in the freezer or the refrigerator? Yeah, the freezer. Oh, I put mine in the fridge. Throw it back in the freezer or. <laughs> Well, I'd have to. He said not to do that. My freezer is full. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that! Look at that! Perfect! Wow! And then you um, can, you can make the the ball perfect ball because I I have a problem with a make ball. It's not beautiful. That's why I use it. <laughs> I use. <laughs> It's okay. It's a tool. Cool. I have this problem where I'm not good at to make balls, the chocolate ball. That looks but wonderful. It's all shiny. Yeah. Wow. I would vote for you. I would vote for you if you were giving <laughs> those away. <laughs> if you want to become a politician. <laughs> So you said first we have to butter our hands. All right, this is exactly. <laughs> I put the children to help me. They like to to make the balls, to roll the balls, and then I call all children. Come on, help me to make the balls. It's time to eat. <laughs> And there then they, they make the balls, but they don't wait to make the balls and um, put it onto the sprinkle, or chocolate sprinkles. They eat before. <laughs> That's what Ora does. He eats some as he goes along. No. Yeah, it's really, it's really important to eat before you start cooking. Otherwise, yeah. you tend to sample a little too much. And, and it helps to have a glass of wine when you're cooking too. I mean, that's I, that I, I went to the store, they had that special wine called cooking wine. No, you don't want to drink cooking wine. <laughs> I spend a lot of time to make a perfect bowl. So after you need to, to put in the uh, chocolate sprinkle, Oh my gosh, again, the camera. My hand is all butter and then I can't touch it in the camera. Oh. <laughs> Need a third hand. The big mess. So now the first, you there can- There it is. It. All right, and then you can use the the, uh, the paper and put inside the paper. There you, oh, look at that! Yeah. All right, I'm going to use her picture instead of mine because mine, of course, aren't coming out nice. Okay, and then I didn't wait long enough to take them out of the fridge. Oh, God, so so beautiful ball. Look that. Very very nice. All right, I'm going to put mine back in the fridge. It's still. Still is kind of sticky. Stick in the freezer for five minutes. You have a lot of size. If you want to make a, a small one, you can choose. Okay. So, for example, I'm gonna try the the middle one. So you 
It's a good reason for getting round measuring. Oh, uh, don't scope. forget, don't forget, guys, to pass butter in this spoon. All right. Oh yeah, that's right. That's the secret. Very, yes, it's very important. You can use a, a paper because your your hand is gonna be dirty. Oh. <laughs> Your hand is going to be dirty. So you basically want to put it in the fridge long enough that it can. gets hard, hard, but not too hard. So there's like this yeah. fine balance. Yeah. And she had said plus your hands are plus your out. hands are going to add warmth to it as you're rolling it around too. Okay. You fix it inside the, this. Yeah, you're already halfway there. So look at that. Yeah, I mean, by putting it in the spoon, it makes it a perfect shape. Exactly. Mm -hmm. It's my secret. Well, local knowledge. She just gave up her secret. It's my <laughs> secret. Because I don't know how to make perfect balls. So <laughs> it's my secret, all right? Guys, don't tell anyone my secrets, please. We're not going to, we, our lips are sealed. So it looks like it's darkened in color from when you were cooking it. It sure does, yeah. Yeah. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. What's the, another, sec, another yeah. secret of how to oh, get it out? You can use, you can use a knife. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I wouldn't recommend using the lemon baller. It's too high of a side and you wouldn't be able to get it out. So you can get a lemon baller that's like an ice cream I one where it's got the thing you squeeze and it pops it out like a um like an ice cream scoop. Yeah, she had an ice cream scoop earlier, but it's pretty big. You can do an ice cream scoop that's the size of a lemon baller. Exactly. Maybe. There you go. Now the finishing touch. Make perfect the bowl. <laughs> See, my hands are too warm for that. As soon as I start doing that, it just melts. Yeah, yeah. Ah. <laughs> oh, now you can't Good pass. Job. You can't pass a lot of butter in your hands. Okay, just a little. Immerse in a chocolate sparkle. Okay. I can tell you it tastes really good no matter what shape it is. <laughs> But yeah, that's a nice students. presentation. That is a nice presentation. You got to get that. Look at that. That is beautiful. Yeah, very nice. Uh, See? It's beautiful because it's a secret, guys. It's a secret. I didn't see it. Can you show me? <laughs> Say. <laughs> Oh, you will have to talk because whoever's nice. talking shows the video. It's okay. Say, say, yeah. All right. Here we go to the next one. Pay attention. Don't pass a lot of butter inside this spoon, all right? Just a little bit, but be careful. It's a, a hard work, guys. It's a part that's a hard work to make a, a brigadeiro. It's a hard work. But if you uh, can uh, make the, the balls, né? roll the balls without this, okay, congratulations, but I can't. <laughs> it's my secret <laughs> to make perfect. Many people can do it. 
but I can't. And then I have my secrets. I, I read somewhere that what people do is they butter their hands and then they dip their hands in cold water before they roll it. Ah, yes. Water, their hands are Another cold. Another secret. Yes, it's, it's a easier, secret. But... Perfect. All right. Oh. So you can. Use but that the... seems funny. You'll have to butter. You have to put it in cold water. Then you have to butter it. Then you have to roll it. Then you have to put it in cold water. Then you have to butter yes, it. Yes, yes, exactly, <laughs> exactly. But you can put your your hands inside the the fridge. <laughs> So make perfect again. Make perfect and I wonder if you brilliant wore plastic gloves, there'd be less warmth, but I don't think so. It'd probably be the same amount of it. Make perfect, brilliant. All right, so we put inside the chocolate spr sprinkle. Right. One more time. Okay. Very nice. How how many people are there? I need to to send and make it for each one. Oh, nice. <laughs> Um, Lenny, we're like in five countries. I don't think they're going to make it. We're 13. Are you sand? And Are one you... for Hodja. Yeah. <laughs> dogs aren't allowed to have chocolate, I thought. Don't tell them that. I'm going to freeze the <laughs> sand. Another one for <laughs> Sophia's cat. Because here, just uh, I'm gonna take just one or two, and the last one, uh, my husband he will take by dinner. Just one for whole dinner? Yes, because that's not I, enough. I didn't make the dinner today. I I told him today we don't have dinner, just brigadeiro as a dinner. <laughs> <laughs> it's Saturday and tomorrow is uh, Father's Day. Oh, tomorrow is Father's Day. Today. We got huh? little party. Did you say <laughs> tomorrow is Father's Day? Yeah. Oh, nice. oh in Brazil tomorrow. it's Father's Day? Tomorrow. Yeah. Why tomorrow? Just a different date, I guess. Yes, mm. that's why. It's a scare springtime. That's why I make a brigadeiro party. For no. Mother's Day, start with dinner and uh, finish at lunch. Coffee, brigadeiro, coffee, break, breakfast. Brigadeiro, breakfast for tomorrow morning. Look how horrible mine look. <laughs> you need the little wrappers. But I also, I like, I mean, I think I need to let this chocolate be in the fridge for longer. It's, it was in there for 45 minutes, but not long enough. But see, I mean, but it rolls into a ball pretty easy. Uh -huh. see? see, I mean, Guys, but then I let it set it and it oh, it's puts hard. me in a ball. It's easy. As soon as it's still too too mushy, I mean too. Um... You need to shape it until uh, become brilliant. All right, I need. I'm gonna put it back in the fridge for longer because I roll this nice little ball and then it. Not enough stirring, or <laughs> maybe. Maybe. I'm sorry because I, I, I didn't help you to watching your brigadeiro because I was 
take care myself, my brigadeiro. I can't help you. People was, I, I heard the people uh, were trying to, to help you. No. Yeah, we were, we were <laughs> trying to help, but you wouldn't get rid of that damn spoon. <laughs> Take care or change your, your pot. <laughs> put, put in another pot in a, in a deep so one. Two things I need next time, a, a deeper pot. Yeah. And then definitely a spatula instead of a spoon. And then mm -hmm. make space in the freezer to put it in the freezer for 30 minutes instead of an hour I, in the fridge. I, why don't you have a space in your freezing? It's full of food. Oh my gosh. You, you live alone. You eat, you, you frozen many foods. Guy can get that. Or you get one of these uh, silicone spatulas. That's what, it's, not, it's not rigid. That's what I was using, see? When yeah, I finally started more, using it, that's more rigid. That's not. That's too rigid. Oh, okay. You get a oh. silicone one; they're softer. I mean, this is silicone. That oh, one okay. will work fine. Right. The stiff one will be fine. He just needs to make sure he gets all the way around. I could, I could use right. this one instead. Maybe it's more got more action. More action in that pot. More floppy. But I think this one has <laughs> got that curved edge. What's going on, Hunter? That was I cool. think the spatula is not a problem. <laughs> Once I started using it instead of a spoon. All right, I Lenny, have... take a, take a picture and send me a picture of that. Uh, all right. I all right. Anybody have any questions? I think I ate too much chocolate. I'm gonna have to stay up all night now. Yeah. <laughs> How many brigadeiros are you going to make, Lane? Let's see. Eight, how, how many? Eight serving uh, serving uh, for eight servings. So this recipe is for eight servings. Yeah. Okay. But Too if much. you just made them smaller, you'd have more, more yeah, servings. I'd probably go more. smaller. Yes, depend on the size. Yeah, you choose. Yeah. But I prefer the big one because you have less uh, less work. There you go. That's my size. Four servings. <laughs> Actually, I don't think so. I've, I've only eaten one. The big one. I will make the big one for you. <laughs> yeah. I will make the big one here just to see. Here in the coffees, we can we can find uh, big brigadeiros like Where? that, right? Where? In the coffees, like uh, yeah, the, the, yeah, like, yeah, exactly, exactly, guys. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So you you normally eat these after you eat your meal with some coffee, or is no, it... like a dessert after lunch? Okay. It's Oh, in mean in cafeteria you can find the big brigadeiro. Yeah, but not to 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 eat with uh, coffee because you can a, if you want eat. I don't know. Up to you. you. <laughs> it's up to you. Yeah, <laughs> but in, it's a dessert. It's a sweet, guys. Thank you, Lenny, very much for showing us which I think both Fred and I will be making this regularly, but I will have to have Fred show me how to stir properly. All but, right. um, we will be making these regularly. It seems pretty simple. Wow. Oh, look how big that one is. I think that's yeah. too big for me, honestly. Is this for or? It's your, your <laughs> portion. I buy it for or. I wouldn't mind it, but I honestly think it'd be too big. But does anybody have any final questions before we wrap up? Give us a sweet tooth. And then everybody sit down and have a brigadero. 
me, it's the end of the day, so I'm going to have it with some tea so I don't stay awake all night. Lenny, do you have any final words? And then we will stop the recording. Yes, you can. You can stop the recording. I just just. The last one. <laughs> Look at wow. that. That's not double. That's like four times <laughs> as big. Wow. It's too big for the wrappers. I could make them that size because I have That's like the cupcake a paper. The paper it's I have is for Father's cupcakes. Day. This is the father, mother, and the children. Maybe. Aww. <laughs> so. Celebrate Father's Day. <laughs> yes. It's That's a big big bit of Father's Day. In yeah. Brazil, <laughs> in, in Brazil, you said Father's Day is August 8th? Yeah. Second, uh, second Sunday. Uh, I just remember uh, uh, Valentine's Day was in June. No Madero? Yes. Like the, yeah, I remember that, but I didn't know Father's Day was in August. So, yes. It's Thank second you very Sunday. much. That is so beautiful. I will jump through the screen and eat the little one. Just be nice. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, nice. So, Yes, the big one is better. Uh, uh. <laughs>